Welcome back to Agco in Jackson, Minnesota. Today we're taking a close-up look at our German-made Staric Heckard 5-axis mill. This is our largest mill here on campus. The Staric mills various chassis components for us, as well as axles and track tractor frame rails, some of which you see here. Let's take a closer look at this track tractor frame rail that has just come out of the Staric Heckard mill after machining. The Staric uses jigs, like you see here, which are specifically designed for each part to clamp the parts in place during the milling process. The Staric Heckard mill is set on an isolated mounting pad made from one half million pounds of concrete, which is five feet thick. This isolated foundation protects its amazing accuracy of approximately eight one hundred thousandths of an inch from being affected by any other movements or vibrations happening in the area. Here is a window looking into the mill. We are walking around the mill now so you can get a scope of its size. The machine itself weighs about 39.6 tons and its dimensions are approximately 31 feet long by 24 and a half feet wide by 12 and a half feet high and it can handle a pallet load of over 17,000 pounds. The mill has a 67 horsepower spindle on a milling head which rotates back and forth from a vertical to a horizontal position. There are two tool towers that can hold 60 tools each. These tools are automatically swapped from tower to spindle by robotic tool changers as required. Back here you see the shavings that come off the metal in the process of milling. Let's take a look into this amazing machine that can turn hardened steel into these ribbons of shavings. In preparation for machining, the tool changer moves tools from the tower to the spindle. The machining continues once the door closes behind. The robot returns the tool to the tower on the left and pulls the next tool needed from the to tower and into the tool changer in the waiting position. This tool is now being measured with a laser. If the tool's measurement is not within one-tenth of a millimeter, the machining operations will stop and an alarm will issue to alert the operator. The tool will then be disabled in the tool table until the operator repairs it. This is the process of machining a rogator rear axle. First, the machine finishes the four mounting surfaces for the torque rods. Then, using a two inch diameter carbide end mill, spinning at 1700 rotations per minute, it machines the insides of two four inch diameter openings to prepare for 12 threads. The next machining step on the Rogator rear axle is tapping the mounting holes for the torque rods. You also see here the use of the coolant system. 1,000 pounds per square inch of coolant is being pushed through this tool. The machine has a 660 gallon coolant reservoir with a system that can push 5.5 to 16.5 gallons per minute through the flush nozzles. Again, at the end of the process, the tool is laser measured. Here the Staric Heckard mill is machining the steering pivot housing for a tarragator. It is finishing the ends of the cross tube to make sure it is square, the proper length, and correctly positioned. Next, the end of the bearing tube is machined.
Thank you for watching the machining of big parts at Agco Jackson, Minnesota operations. Make sure you watch for upcoming mini tours that show more of the operations here at the Agco Jackson plants.